Sí. Bueno. Hi and welcome back. Let's start talking about some of the features of the portfolio. The first feature I want to talk about is leaving comments. So, during the course, your teacher will ask you to comment on other students' work. Now, there are a couple of reasons for doing this and I want you to understand the reasons. The first reason is, um, if you comment on the other students' work, it means the teacher doesn't have to do anything and we can go to sleep. I'm only joking. Um, the real reason is that if you can comment on other people's work, that will help your own work. Now, I won't bore you too much with the, with the learning theory behind this, but it is a sound argument. So, we want you to comment on other people's work, and there are two ways to do this. Let me show you the first one. So, here we have a student blog. Uh, post. This is based on a trip we did to the Qasr al Hassan festival here in Abu Dhabi. So here's the post. And there's the student writing. And if we go down, here we can see comments. So the first student says, I think this trip take you to the past. And then our student answers. Yes, I feel like I'm in the past. Everything was perfect and traditional. And then another student comes in. This time it's not just saying how wonderful the post is, but she's commenting on the first student's language. Hi, from what I read, I think you had so much fun. Check what does who mean. So our first student goes away and checks. Oh. It was, my, it was a mistake. Thank you for amend the error. I will write it in the right way. So, you can see in this instance, there's communication taking place between our original student who posted and two other students. So, not only can you tell students they're doing a great job, which of course we all want to hear, it makes us feel good, um, you can also make these comments on language, which, as I said, will help you with your own language. When the teacher comes to look at your blog, it's good to know how many comments you made. So when you make a comment, I'll ask you, in, in my case, to post the comments that you've put on your blog as well, so I can see them when I'm grading it. So here's another example. Let's have a look at this blog. And if we scroll through the posts, we can see comments on two student posts. Let's click on that. So here is a student's comment to another student. And he makes a general comment. First of all he says, well done for a good job. That's always important in your comments, always start with something positive. And then he says, but you need to be careful with the spelling, mate. Good advice. So I hope this student went back and checked his spelling. And in the next correction, he copy pastes something from the original poster. Mercedes cars has changed from the said of technology and safety until it rich to the latest model, which can be without driver. Hmm, that is a bit puzzling. Let's see what our student makes of it. How about Mercedes cars have changed from the technology and safety sides to have a car driven without a driver? Hmm, that is a good correction. So, our original student gets his work corrected and our commenting student gets to think about how to write a good sentence. So both sides are learning. And he finishes with another great comment. Great writing, bro. Please share your thoughts of what I have commented. So, that's our segment on commenting on each other's work. I hope you are convinced that this is an important feature and you will try and comment on each other's work every week. So, 
I'll see you in a second for the next segment on another feature of our ePortfolios.